I'm Darcy Coronan, the curator of musical instruments at the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. And this is the museum's grand salon reed organ made by the J. Estee Company of Brattleboro, Vermont, about 1878. It's the fanciest organ they ever made, and it was some celebration of the 100,000th instrument made by the factory. Reed organs differ from pipe organs in the way they produce sound. Pipe organs have pipes that look like this. It's a bit like a flute, and when you introduce air into the lower end, it even sounds a bit like a flute. Reed organs have brass reeds to make their sound. They're different than the cane reeds used in oboes and clarinets in that they don't beat against either a mouthpiece or another reed. They're so-called free reeds. They move up and down freely in this brass channel. Small reed organs have just one set of reeds, one reed for every note on the instrument. But a large instrument like this has many sets of reeds and they each produce a different sound. So you can play one, or two, or three, and get different combinations of sound. And if you pull out all the stops, as we say, you're playing the full organ. To make the sound softer or louder on a reed organ, you need to employ something called the swell. On this model, that's handled with these knee levers that you push outwards with your knees. When you do that, it opens up a wooden panel inside to let more sound come out from the reeds, like this. Of all the things to notice about a reed organ, perhaps the most important are the two pedals that you use to pump the air. Because if they're not moving, you're not getting any sound. It's understandable that a lot of people refer to reed organs as a pump organ. Thank you.